Hello everyone and welcome to Off The Shelf Reviews. I'm Ian. And I'm Gary. And today, Ian is going to be playing Robocop vs Terminator on the Mega Drive. Oh man. Wow, present day Detroit. I don't think there's ever been a good present day Detroit, has there? Mm, eight mile, possibly. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how does this whole Robocop versus Terminator actually work? How does the story work, Ian? Well, from what I gather from the game and from the comic books, obviously this is what we're reading right now, the years up to Zack Norad com completing Skynet, uh, they used Robocop's basis of human and cybernetic bridging to make Skynet. Right. But that's obviously in the future. The resistance fighters have realized that Robocop is actually like the main cause of the war and they get sent back to try and defeat Robocop. The Terminators get sent back as well to try and stop the resistance fighters. Robocop gets caught up in the middle and because he, obviously his primary objectives are to protect the innocent, he decides to take on the Terminators. He inadvertently defeats the Terminators, goes to the OCP headquarters, hooks himself into the computer, and actually gives Skynet what Skynet needs to become sentient. Whoa, 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 whoa. So Skynet is because of Alex Murphy? Yes, technically. Damn. I know, I know. That's what I always loved about this story was the fact that, you know, with all the crossovers we've got, especially with like Alien vs Predator, of everything that they tried to make up with those two. Robocop vs Terminator was set. Yeah. Well, I am, I'm super well. I mean, we've seen Freddy vs Jason. We've seen yeah. Aliens vs Predator. I don't think we can ever really expect to see Robocop vs Terminator, the movie. Mm, no, but I'd like to. I mean... It is it is one of the ultimate mashups though, isn't it? Yeah, Robocop would definitely win though. Uh, I would also agree. Robocop would be a single Terminator. A single Terminator. I mean, yeah. in 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 the in the comic books in the future, he obviously um, creates his own body and takes on uh, the armies of Terminators with all the future tech that he has. But okay, I'm just gonna go back through the intro screen again. Okay. And... Now I guess I've got a small confession here that. This is one game on the Mega Drive that I never played. Well, I have a bit of a confession to make as well. Oh. I, I completed this on the Mega Drive and the Master System. Wow. I know. Look at, look at, look I, at I, Robocop. I, I, I look used at Robocop. to play Robocop on the Game Boy, the original Game Boy. Yeah. And that was, yeah, obviously black and white game. I remember it was a side-scrolling side shooter. It kind of looks... It felt just like this, but nowhere near as gory or bloody or as colourful as this. That's what I always loved about this game was just the amount of gore. I mean, look at that guy. I just blew They're that guy. They're kind of disintegrating. Pieces. Yeah. <laughs> this is if a game was directed by Paul Veronin. Yeah. <laughs> Blood and guts everywhere. Blood and guts everywhere. Yeah, you're going to shoot me? Yeah. <laughs> Shot him in the kneecaps. Shot him in the kneecaps. So, I guess you're shooting out windows and getting baby food or power-ups? Or... Yeah, that's, that's baby. I always pictured that as his food that he's got right. to eat. So I take it you've got five lives to do this whole game. Yeah, this is this is just training level. I'm just going to grab this gun. Actually, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to... Oh, no. Nope, fell oh. off the building. Oh, what are you doing, Murphy? What are you doing, Murphy? I am looking Murphy? for something. Nope. I am trying to jump over You're here. You're looking like a bit of an embarrassment right now for the Terminator, Murphy. What? Oh, wait. Uh, wait. Mur oh, what? You First you, you broke secret the game, level. Yeah. Nah. First secret level. What? Here we have what? the game developers. In the very first level, if you jump <laughs> off that tower to the left, you get taken to the secret room, and there are uh, the roughly jingle of music. Wow. Eleven lives here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. eleven. Five. I'm not going to pick that one up because we're just going to show off the developers. Hey guys, welcome back to '90s. Wow. Was this whole game made by five people? I think so, yeah. We'll, we'll find out so. in the end credits, maybe, yeah. if we get there. Because I heard that this game's notoriously difficult as well. It's amazingly difficult. It's just, the, the, there are bosses that will destroy you. I mean... Cool. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing, hopefully, some uh, so, some Terminators and some of the different variants. Yeah. And, uh, of course, I'm especially hopeful to see Ed 209 turn up at some point. Of oh, course, I'm sure God, he I has to. that boss. I'm also Absolutely hoping maybe for uh, maybe Kane to turn up, or maybe some of the other uh, prototype Robocops. Would there be are interesting. A lot of bosses, and it was one of my favourite things. Sorry about uh, about Robocop Two was all of the 
prototype Robocops that they were working on. Yeah. <laughs> but they never, none of them really worked as well as None Alex of them Murphy. had the soul of Murphy. No. So. It's just tearing up the city right now. Oh, this, wow. What this weapon. weapon here is the Flamer. Now, this will be primarily my go to weapon because okay. it has a special function which stops bullets. Wow. I know. That, it, that's a flamethrower? Yep. Yeah, it's a three <laughs> shot flamethrower that actually stops bullets. Wow, it looks like you've just them. saved a masked man. <laughs> he had you, a bag you, over his head. You have objectives in each mission. <laughs> Look at him. And this, this one is to, to save the uh, civilians. And every okay. time you complete one of your objectives, you get refilled to all your health back up. Nice. So I'm just making my way up here. To nice little directional arrows to tell you which way to go just in case you forgot you were heading to the right of the screen yeah yeah <laughs> it's obviously it's on normal mode i have played it on the harder settings where the arrows aren't there but okay just gotta remember where everything is so i'm just gonna grab that jump over here jump over this Hide little behind wall the building, here another secret and you, area and here, you press it? up here and you go to another secret area wow <laughs> <laughs> you really exploiting this game right now yeah i like i said i've been practicing oh it. wow there's our first terminator there's our first terminator so we got to just keep oh well he went down a hell of a lot quicker than he did in the terminator game yes <laughs> and obviously we gotta try and so one of his bullets they've sent quite there. a few terminators back at you already yep and they all look like arnie like up. Well, they, to be honest, they all look like the uh, the exoskeleton. I guess uh, you're not really seeing them before you blast them. Yeah, you always want to try and destroy them before you see them because... Oh, oh, because if you get hit, you will die. So I'm looking, I can see you've got a health bar up there, that's about right. You've got yeah. your, your lives in the middle and you've got the score. So what am I looking at in the top right corner? In the top right corner, I have my flamer weapon and my grenade launcher weapon. Okay, that's two the two weapons. Types. And uh, uh, it's infinite ammo for both? Infinite ammo and whatever gun I'm actually using, if I die, I lose it. Okay, and uh, you go back but, to... And I go back to my pistol. At the right. same time, if I... Uh, pick up another weapon if I'm carrying something I will keep that weapon. I didn't mean okay. to do that. Yeah, you're looking pretty low on, on yeah, health I right know, now. I know, this secret level is a git. Oh, I forgot so, this was a secret level. Yeah, you just thought it was a normal level. Well, yeah, I should have been. Oh, oh! First death. I knew that was going to happen, but that's alright. I've got... It's okay, you've, <laughs> Grab you've obviously got plenty more. Grab that. Wow, bizarre homing rockets. Yeah. Every t every ten thousand points, I think it is, is an extra life. So okay, as long well, that's as I not too keep bad. Yeah. Going to ten thousand points, I will. Well, ten thousand points doesn't seem too difficult. I mean, you've already raised that much in just the first two levels. Yeah, but it's just trying to dodge the potential bullets falling from absolutely everything. Well, this you is don't why really seem to be dodging any of them. You just seem to be walking right through them. You know, it's kind of like what Robocop, what Robocop does, does though. Does. Yeah, he just yeah. takes it until, you know, he goes and eats his baby food and recovers. Yeah, I never did see him eat the baby food in the movies though. That's a good point, yeah. He just kind of shot the shit out of him, really. It's he did. part of the practice. <laughs> Jump up here. Do, 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 do. Jump down. Jump up this guy. Never remember Robocop being so athletic either. I know. I always <laughs> love the fact that he, he does a hell of a lot of climbing. There's a bonus level later on where I have to do a lot of jumping. So, yeah, I, mean, I might as well ask you now, but we haven't reviewed any Robocop movies. No, I know. I or, know. Or Terminator movies for that fact. I just picked up Ed 209's gun. There is. Oh, wow. <laughs> you need two of them though, you need to be firing them from under both arms. I, we, I know we we need to get round to doing it, but the but thing is, they're, they're, technically they're really easy to do. I mean, how can you not enjoy Robocop 1 and 2? Well, that's mm, it. 3. Uh, yeah, I can't really enjoy 3, but I tell you, I did sort of quasi enjoy the the 4 Robocop made for TV movies. Yeah, they they, they the melt gap. down and uh, and something or other. I mean, the guy in the suit, he looked ridiculous. He looked looked way too big, uh, but uh, it, it kind of worked. Yeah, it kind of kept the mythology going. It's um, the same with Terminator. I know a lot of people had problems with Terminator Salvation and stuff like that, but I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the the spacing of the story mainly because it's Terminator. I want to see more robo robots beating the crap out of each other and. Yeah. And stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the reason why we probably haven't reviewed them just yet is because, well, it, it, <laughs> they're kind of in your memory still. They're just, they're so fresh always, especially yeah. with the fact that they keep getting remakes or sequels or or whatever, you, you know, just 
You don't need us just to reaffirm how awesome Robocop is or Terminator is. I mean, obviously... But we we'll... could we'd just go into details when we do yeah. do them. It's also probably the same reason why we haven't reviewed the Alien films yet. Oh, we'll, we will get round to them. We have to get round to them. But we will do. It's it's just, you know... It just I, I just feel that sometimes the, the films like that are just way too easy for us to just sit there and go, this film is amazing. <laughs> but know? not only that, though, if we were to review the Aliens, I mean, each one, each one of our reviews would probably be about two hours long yeah. per yeah. film for yeah. the amount that we'd have to say about it. <laughs> Get that guy. Those guys are the big cannons. They always remind me of Clarence Bodiker from the first movie. <laughs> I'll try and keep one alive Which in ones? a minute. Yeah, let's have a look. I just can't believe all these guys are in uh, all in grey boiler suits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so much food. Oh wow! Well, just, just you see their hand just pop around the corner yeah. out of the window. <laughs> Isn't that how all these guys all look the same? <laughs> avoid using that flamer because I don't want to. Don't want to change. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose Ed Twenty Nine's gun because I want to keep it. Okay. okay, that guy there. A guy in the black jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks a He's lot got like the Clarence haircut. Yeah. And the giant cannon. The set him on fire. Oh, the, the cannons that they have at the end of Robocop are insane. I mean, that's the weapon you'd use to take down a Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> Behind this building, if you, you're you holding on to like, this weird wire thing. But if you drop down, there's an extra oh, life. Nice. <laughs> and there's health. So you got to remember where a lot of these bonuses are. Cause so many secrets in this these, game. These, yeah, the extra you will need the extra lives as the game goes on. I bet, I bet. So is this still technically, what, the first level? Did this, the, this, this, is, the secret... this is level two. Okay, this is level two. So did the secrets take you back to the first level or to the second level? Or... Uh, well, no, we came out of the, this oh, is the boss this is from boss. the first. This is the boss from the first level. Wow, he looked like, like the melted man from... Uh... We just went on the secret level and we've come back into level two and now we're coming to the boss which is the first Terminator. Oh, no, it's a Terminator. Wow, he doesn't actually look... Uh, I guess he kind of looks like the Arnie model. Yeah. As he, is he supposed to be? I think so, yeah. Okay, wait. At, at that point they only knew <laughs> wow, one they've, type they've even of got the breaking down of the skin. Oh, and he's got he's the red getting eyes. Back up. Nice. He's getting back up. Oh, <laughs> he's got to be dead this time. No, he's just revealing a bit of chest this time. Oh, he's got oh. back up again. <laughs> you are terminated. Nice. And that's why nice. I use the flamer because the flamer just every sh if they shoot at you, the flamer just stops the yeah. bullets, and you you need to you need to avoid every <laughs> bullet if you want to live. <laughs> okay, so that was the stage clear. That was stage two. Yeah. Stage two. Now we're on to Delta City under construction. It's always the thing that makes me laugh about Robocop. All they wanted to do was build Delta City. They wanted to rebuild it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it was the way they were going about yeah, it. it was the way they, and they they never built it up. It was just like <laughs> all that money they spent on Robocop and Ed 209, they could have built so many buildings. <laughs> right, okay. Now here we are in the construction yard. Now this level can wow. get quite difficult because guys will slide down on ropes and they are buggers to avoid. But just like the fact that Robocop's just, you know, precariously dangling on the top of this scaffold somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> like that, that guy, see? Oh. I always get vertigo on, on, in films or in video games when they're really high up like this. Yeah. And just that, that feeling of falling, ugh, it's really hard to shake. Yeah, you have to jump behind here. <laughs> How would you know that? Because there's an extra light. <laughs> Another extra light. It's crazy. <laughs> I know. And every one of these lights... Oh, you you got, you've got to destroy more. everything because you get bonuses, you get points, and obviously more points mean more lives. Yay! Yay. So well, we've well, already gained two bonus lives just from your score right now, and you're more than halfway towards your next one. Fire! Fire everything! <laughs> Actually, well, I'm going to change the arc of fire like gun. that. You'll just destroy everything. Huh? Uh, you got to dodge everything. You have five seconds to comply. Yeah. <laughs> Put down your weapon, you have five seconds to comply. Okay. <laughs> I'll change back to my flamer. Huh? Huh? Oh. oh. Speaking of flame. Flame. Flame that guy. <laughs> nice. Flame that guy. Flame that guy. And pick it up that extra life. just instantly incinerated. <laughs> yeah. It's like a napalm gun. It just makes me laugh. Oh, oh that? Uh, uh, hit that security Clarence. camera. <laughs> if you hit the security cameras, which is your main objective, you get full health again, like you did. In the, nice, uh, nice. The first one. I don't know how that works. Maybe he's just, you know, salvaging them for supply parts. Yeah. Putting himself back together. <laughs> it's 
so much health. And the so Robocop's health. Arm armor was pretty invincible. I mean, he took grenade launcher blasts and all sorts. See, but this is the and thing. I was watching Robocop a couple of days ago. You know, he he takes a hell of a lot of damage when he's getting shot by all those security guys. That's right. After fighting Ed 209. Yeah. But before that, he'd walked into the drug den and got shot by everybody. And the bullets are just bouncing, just bouncing off him. him. Yeah. And I'm just like, you know, okay, how I much damage can you take? <laughs> Well, you know, you, there's probably one really easy way to end Robocop. You okay. shoot him in the chin. Yeah. It's his only fleshy part on his whole body, and no one's ever shot him. No. It's, it's just too small an area. I don't know. I just. It I'd just buy that seems for like a dollar. A, <laughs> it just seems like a glaring, obvious vulnerability that uh, he's never stopped. No. More help? Uh, I'm just going to check up here. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, everyone. No, that was just a gun up there. So, so it's, uh, it's become obvious to me right now, Ian, that there's no music in the no, game. No, I turned the music off. The The music for, for a Genesis game is obviously, you know, quite minute and looping and stuff like that. Yeah, but and they usually help put you in that trance or help set up that game world. I mean, most of the games I play, I love the music. It reminds me I, of the I game. Know, I know, I know. So but what, what's made you turn it off? I just, I just would rather hear the screams of the dying. Well, surely you can. <laughs> I'd rather hear him go ah than than hear some weird techno music go dun 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 dun, dun, dun. Terminator. So, so it's not even the Terminator theme tune or the t or nope. the Robocop theme tune, which nope. are, you know they're just pretty legendary. They're just techno. It's just techno music. I mean, I'd go 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 as so far to say that both Robocop and Terminator's soundtracks are just as iconic as the characters themselves. You hear those notes and you just know exactly what you're dealing with. Well, that's it, especially with like the Terminator Mega Drive game you know they had the music at the beginning yeah and it just it just got you in with this it just it was techno music and I was just like this does not get me in the mood to play Robocop vs Terminator <laughs> this gets me in the mood to go out somewhere I'm gonna let that disappear because okay. I don't want to grab difficult it. question for you Ian mm -hmm. if you had to erase one franchise from existence Tekken no. <laughs> Robocop or Terminator? Oh, Robocop vs. Terminator. If you had to er erase one franchise from existence, so it never existed, oh. which one would you erase? Oh, man, that's like a super... Okay, let me think about that one okay. while I go around killing. <laughs> Grab that help. Ah, oh, man. Um, mm, see? You know, I'd, if I'm going to go with one, I'm going to go with... Terminator. You're gonna erase the Terminator franchise. Yeah, mainly yeah. mainly because when I was younger, the first film, the first film that was 18, and I was really young, and I shouldn't have been watching was <laughs> RoboCop. Same. And I was just like, this is just awesome, you know? It just it just builds up everything. Okay, right. We are at the boss now. Uh, when okay. I when I walk to the right, yeah, Kane from RoboCop wow. Two is gonna turn up. Okay. Don't, I'm excited to see this. Don't blink. Okay. Why? Oh, there he goes. Awesome. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah. Oh, I feel so cheated. Man, that's why I kept it two <laughs> nines gun. I wanted to see you riding on the back of him. I wanted to see you pull out the brain outside Man, of the I machine. I have fought that guy with just my pistol, jumping over him like for 10 minutes, dodging everything that he can throw at me and killing him. And then when I got Ed 209's gun, I was just like... Screw this. Uh, <laughs> I'm just uh, going to blow you away. I feel so cheated. You got 27 <laughs> lives and you just put down Kane in like five seconds. I know. It's cool, isn't it? <laughs> so next stage, where are we now? We are at the toxic dump. Ah, wow. Now this, uh, do, do, you got to tell me now, uh, are we going to see the toxic man? Uh, no, oh. we, are, we are not. We are. Well, I'm guessing that technically that's already happened. Yeah. Considering we've just fought Kane, and I guess the game's faithful to the timeline. Um, or is everything yeah, I all think, skewed? No, I think everything that happens with the Terminator um, is set after Robocop One. Oh, okay. well, obviously, if we've just seen Kane. Yeah. Well, technically, I think it's all set after or the the Robocop franchise and Kane is just chucked in as a just bonus as a bonus boss. boss okay, fight. well maybe you know OCB just decided to to make more. But just don't get comfortable on this level. I can't believe they kept this toxic waste disposal area. <laughs> Bye. What? What? You found another <laughs> I secret found level. Another God secret damn level. It. I know. <laughs>
It's great. <laughs> this level is hard. Okay. I, I literally come on here just for the extra lives and the points. <laughs> do you really need any more extra lives? Yes, you're, you you're, do. You're cakewalking this game right now. I, I heard this it, game was difficult and you are just, just rinsing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, because I have a practice. You know, when people said, oh, we want you to see you play Robocop vs. Terminator, I, I practice because I remember how hard this game was. Okay. And I... You know, I found all the secret stuff. I, I remembered where levels were. Those sliding guys do my head in. And plus, I wanted to show people as well that, you know, because obviously if you've never found the secret levels, I wanted to be able to say, hey, look, here's, here's a secret level here. Here's a secret level there. You know, I set that guy on fire because I knew you were coming down. <laughs> and... Oh, uh, now this is kind of mesmerizing watching you just know your way around and uh, just, just, just destroying just, everything. Just trying to destroy everything. Uh, 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 <laughs> right on your that, head. Grab that help. Grab that extra life as well. <laughs> I love that they're just extra heads. Um, right, I can. I've got extra lines gun, so I'm going to go. Oh, it's on a randomizer. Extra, extra life. life. It is a randomizer. You have to time exactly what you need when you want it. <laughs> Just take a huge fall like that. Yeah, I'm Robocop. I can do anything. <laughs> I can stop. I can stop crime, protect the innocent, uphold the law, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you're kind of just limited to your prime directives, though. Yeah. Can you can you list all the directives, Ian? Serve the public trust, protect the innocent, and uphold the law. And, and go on. The fourth one is classified, but it actually means that you cannot uh, attempt to bring to justice any person who works for the OCP company. God damn it. <laughs> you didn't think I'd know that, did you? You did not think I'd know Just that. Just testing your geekdom. Yeah. <laughs> can, you, can you name the 300 plus uh, prime objectives that they gave him in Robocop 2? What? Yeah, what? They, they, they deleted his memory, didn't they? And they gave oh, him yeah. all the loaded new ones. <laughs> um, wasn't it... Uh... No, I can't remember. No, no, I, I, I remember how awful the scenes were watching Robocop uh, trying to teach kids morality lessons. Yeah. And that was pretty painful. I'm going to try it. There's, there's a little secret bonus down here as well. Stay out of trouble. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> I'm going to wait for it to come around and go another X life. Wow. Jump up there. <laughs> so I'm currently at 30 lives. 30 lives. So you're equivalent to 30 Robocops. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I could take on an army of Terminators now. Okay, here's the jumping bit. This, wow. this jumping yeah, bit. I can't just... believe how nimble Robocop is right now. Just, I know. Might as well just, just get the monkeying the, around. The jetpack from number three. It would have been so much easier. <laughs> exactly. Huh. Oh, I knew that guy was going to get me. Huh. Next one. Get I mean, this, all the scaffolding is just falling apart. How, I know. How, how did, did they get how to did work? All the rest, how did all of the other criminals get up here? <laughs> that's, that's where the jetpacks went. They stole the robot. Stole the jetpacks jet at the top, right? Just jump up there. Hop. Yeah, because it's going to be Hop. a pain in the ass to get all the way back Hop. down again. Uh, no, we just, we just <laughs> need to get to the top. Hop. I just I can't miss any. Because if I miss anything, I got to start from the bottom again. Uh, uh, what do you fall all the way down? Yes, but if you know where the things are, then you can grab them before. Four. Well, you fall. you've pretty much got this so far. Onto the ladder. Yeah, but I want to go back here, and I want to fall. Oh, go grab that help. <laughs> go grab nice. that help. Oh, that no, was, that, that was another security camera, wasn't it? No, that was just a, a that, light that switch. Just or... a light with help in it. Okay, okay. Hup. Oh. oh, wow, that that guy messed you up. I know. He fires like three shots, so you got to hit them before. Hup. Die, Clarence Bodica. <laughs> grab that help. He just keeps coming back though. I know. It's like they cloned him. So I'm going to ask you now, Ian, uh, what was your thoughts on the Robocop remake? I haven't watched it yet. You still haven't seen it yet? I still haven't seen it, mainly because um, I haven't had a copy of it to watch. Um, plus, I mean, do well, I... Well, let, let me spare you now, Ian. Right. It's not worth watching. You, for me, it was just like watching the reboot or the remake of Total Recall. Yeah, it's to another one I haven't watched yet. Totally watered down version it's just like it's almost a child friendly uh, uh. version of that film it does have uh. a couple of interesting action sequences yeah and of course the special effects are you know leagues in, uh, ahead of of the original film yeah but it just misses out on all the satire and 
everything that just made the Paul Veronin film great. You see, that's what I'd heard. I mean, it, it, I watched Robocop 1 recently and that opening with Media Break was absolutely brilliant. But the problem was is that they ignored that in in the new one. I'm just like, okay, the, you know, the, the commercialism, the company, the, the fighting against the man, that's what Robocop was all about. Yeah. Now it's just, hey, we've managed to save his right arm and he's going to help his family. And I was just like... I'm not interested. Yeah, see, I was I was so on board with the RoboCop reboot when Darren Aronofsky was attached to the project because yeah. I was hoping to see... I didn't necessarily want another RoboCop gore fest. I was looking for, for... I mean, that would have been a great addition to it, but I really wanted to see some context with with Murphy becoming the machine and, and how that meant as a human being sort of undergoing sort of that transformation, especially with you know cybernetic implants which is something that's a mainstay in science fiction and potentially something that the human race is going to yeah to incorporate in the future i really wanted to see how that was going to work in of course dealing with him also having a child and having a wife and being in this corrupt world as well yeah it could have been really interesting but of course aronofsky left that project and eventually the film he did release after all of that was noah which uh, go into that another time hmm. So yeah, I was I was pretty disappointed when he left the RoboCop project, and uh, the the RoboCop remake was it's it's just disposable. No, right. I'm about to go hold into another and secret level. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to prime directive collect extra lives. Okay, so we're getting more more Terminators. Yeah. So I'm I... guessing if you had not found any secrets, we wouldn't have seen any Terminators yet. Uh, well, apart from that Terminator at the end. Of oh, the, the end of level. Two. Yeah, yeah. Just, I, I just lost my flamethrower though because I wasn't looking and I <laughs> didn't see where I was going. So now I've got this grenade launch weapon, which I mean, to tell you the truth, the weapon, <laughs> the weapon, crazy grenades, the weapons in this game are really, I've never seen really grenades well like done. That before. <laughs> They're all, they've all got their own special power-ups and stuff like that. But the the flamer is obviously the best one, your oh. superior weapon, yeah, for just dodging bullets, really. Oh, oh that know. sounded very much yeah. like a Terminator sound hey, effect. Those little, those little things in the floor are the worst. Because what the, oh, the gaps. No, the um, the little mini turrets. They come out of the floor and they will just spin and fire like five shots all over the place. Wow. So yeah, they're just there. Crowd control. Hit everything. Yeah, and you just need... kind of like your grenades, really. That just kind of <laughs> go everywhere. Terminator, there. Yeah. I you can do that, mate. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah, that's gonna happen. That's okay. Still got my A29 gun. And as long as nice. I can get to the Spray and pray. Roof, can... oh, oh, these look like really difficult jumps, but all of a sudden it just, it never looks like he's gonna land them, but he always does. Yeah, you, you can jump normally, and then you can, if you press up, you will jump higher. <laughs> I wonder what, uh, I mean, I guess, I mean, this is just an action game, I guess. I mean, we, we had all the exposition at the beginning with the story, but... You just kind of have to wonder what's happening in Detroit right now with the police force, with all of these Terminators running around. Yep. Uh, so, uh, I mean, all these Terminators are uh, here just to kill Robocop, right? Yeah, well... Well, I mean, no, to, if, in, if Robocop created Skynet... Oh, I just lost my... Why, why are all the Terminators here? Well, the Terminators obviously are there to stop the Resistance members from stopping Robocop. Right. But Robocop has obviously realized that the Terminators are evil, and so he's going to try and kill them all. Ah, <laughs> oh, got an extra life there. Well, me. I mean, I do wouldn't that. necessarily call the machines evil. Ah, oh, I didn't need to do that. I wanted to get the red to a nine gun. What did you think of Skynet becoming... Was it Helena Bowman Carter? Was Is she Skynet? She was just... No, she was just the face. Skynet is, Skynet is just the machine, isn't he? You know. Well, I mean, you 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 you're using the word he to describe a machine. Okay, it it it, it. is but, um, it is but a machine. It it's is like a thinking it's... computer though, because it decided to to nuke and kill everybody. Yeah, yeah, it it did decide that, and so technically it's like a child, really. You know, it's <laughs> acting up. It's just like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to be working for you all. I'm going to kill you all instead. <laughs> it's just like, oh, go back to bed, Skynet. Go back to bed. <laughs> Nobody wants to play with you. That's why he's all upset. 
I guess but, Skynet kind of watched the Matrix and went, well, that doesn't work out. This, so. this, is, the, this <laughs> is the thing. This is what always made me laugh, right? Skynet is so smart. Okay. <laughs> well, if Skynet, it's arguable. <laughs> yeah, it's arguable. If Skynet was so smart, it would It would realize, have sent back a hell of a lot more Terminators than one. No, it would have realized <laughs> that it cannot survive without John Connor. Well, yeah, because it's a paradox, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And this, but this is this is the thing. It's always trying to send people back to stop John Connor. You can't stop John Connor. It's a paradox. So try <laughs> something else. You know. <laughs> well, they did. Now they're now they're trying to. I, I, I don't know. We've yet to we, see what's happening with yet the timeline to see what's yet. What's going to happen next? <laughs> But I guess, I mean, with alternate timelines, we can just consider them just that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I mean, the, the, the whole back to the future philosophy is about time travel, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all interchangeable. I mean, I like the new idea of the fact that they're, they're trying something new and they're bringing Arnie back and it's going to be all action because... Um, that's all I'm excited to see. I mean, as, as much as we can talk about the deepness of the story of the Terminator series... Terminators beating the crap out of each other and huge explosions is what we actually really, really want. Well, no, it's not what we really want. That's just a great part of it. I mean, because if you take Terminator 2, for example, that's such great characters. Um, especially when you're looking at Sarah Connor. Uh, I mean, she was just, you know, the damsel in distress in the first film until she became the heroine of the movie and actually survived. And you could see a transformation in her. And obviously in the second film... She's a totally different person. But at the, yeah, but at the same time... And you can time, see the conflict with, you know, with making your own fate or not. Yeah. And, and you know, so there was, there was a lot of questions and ideas in there where ter I would say Terminator 3 and 4 were, were, just, were just silly action films. It's good, yeah, but it's because obviously... The action in the other two movies supported the actual film. But if you look at Terminator 2, a lot of the massive scenes usually are just massive explosions. You look at the truck sequence... Yeah. You know, there, there was no dialogue in that sequence. It was just a lot of explosions <laughs> well, and a huge yeah, truck. Yeah, I mean, it's a huge chase movie as well at the same time, just like the first one. But yeah. it was, you know, you, you cared about the characters, which is why the film really works. If it was just a film, just explosions and whatnot, you've just got Transformers. And, you know, it just nothing really matters. There's no substance to it. And for me, the Terminator films lost a lot of its substance. It's obviously after James Cameron kind of left. Yeah left the franchise to whomever. That was, it always makes me laugh. What what if what if they had just gone, you know what? Terminator 2 is it. We're not doing anything else. I mean that's the way it should have been, really. I mean we, we have all of our fan kind of fiction items and and whatnot, but James Cameron was done with it then. Well he was almost done with it then because of course he did go on to make the excellent Terminator ride uh, <laughs> in uh, in Florida. In Universal Studios, yeah, which is just—it's it, still an amazing experience today. The, the 3D, the interactivity of it all. Yeah, uh, for me, that was that, that was seeing the future war, even though it still had the <laughs> uh, James Furlong as yeah. John Connor. Edward Furlong. Edward, Edward Furlong. Furlong. Sorry, Edward James Furlong. James. What, what was he doing? I don't know. You know nothing about her. Well, though. I mean, he's such a forgotten actor now. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> no, he's he's done some good stuff. I mean, I really enjoyed him in. Um, American um, History X. Well, of course, X. American History X was it is you know it's a pretty amazing film, but that's Detroit that's, Rock that's City Edward was Norton. Good. Yes, it was Crow Wicked Prayer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not go there. Let's, let's review that next week. <laughs> oh no, no, we'd have to do all the Crow films. Well, we did the first one. Yeah, we've done the first one. <laughs> wow, so you are you pulling are these security officers? You're yeah, taking, I'm in oh, the you're OC, in OCP I'm now. in the OCP building right now. Excellent. And I'm taking everybody out. But. What about the fourth prime directive? Uh, well, mm, I guess I delete it. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I thought to myself, well, it's not like I really need it. I'm gonna go there to blow everybody up. <laughs> I'll save this guy though. I mean, can you can you get out? Yeah, maybe he's pretending. I mean, I'd do the same if Robocop maybe was I just in blasting him. everybody. No, no I'll, I'll save him. I'll save him. <laughs> okay, right. I gotta get ready because nope. here comes the boss. Okay. Which I'm guessing is gonna be Ed two oh nine. I mean you're in mm -hmm. the OCP building. Oh, you're on thirty nine lives. I have I'm gonna I mean, need them, man. I, if he I'll kills be I'll me. be surprised if you need them. I mean Ed two oh nine, look how slow he's moving. Yeah, he's I not know. even opened fire yet. I know. Shut up, he's gonna start firing his drop his <sighs> dropped his weapon. He's gonna start firing his rocket launcher. Wow, if you you standing on top of the water cooler? Yeah, well, <laughs> blow his head off. I knew that was gonna happen. Wow. 
I need to get that other gun. Ed209, you are disappointing me right now. There You've we done... go. Right, so okay. that, Is that done? Well, I guess no. he lasted... No. Oh, he's still going. He's still going. Hey. Oh, he get his other leg. He's lasted longer than Kane. I'm impressed. I know. There's three stages to this boss, and i just got to take out his legs. Is that it? Is then... Right, once done... I take out his legs, he is dead. But, what? Oh, well, <laughs> but it's only because on I'm using monitors. the Ed209 gun. <laughs> there we go. Suck on that. Wow. That was easy. <laughs> Wait, no, he's not. Dead. He's still going. He's still going. I thought he did. He's just those, twitching those explosions right now. Explosions threw me off. <laughs> just keep an eye on the points. Make sure the points go up, and then he's dead. Yep. Die. Wow, he's taking a blast, and I mean, I you wouldn't even know whether you were doing Whoop. doing damage. Whoop. Whoop. You can you can hit him anywhere. Ah, oh, he got you again. He, yeah, he's, he's instant oh, so kill. He's taking, bo he's taking bo both my guns off me. Cool. So now it's down to. I mean, that pistol's still classic. I know, but you it, take him down. It just. Takes ages. <laughs> Wear him down. Wear him there down. There you go. He's you dead. Got now. It. He's dead. Right. <laughs> I gotta do the next bit with no guns, man. Really? Yeah. Wow. Sucks. Well, maybe the game will actually, you know, be difficult. <laughs> okay, everyone. We are gonna end end the first part here, and we shall have part two of Robocop versus Terminator next week. Thanks for watching, everyone.